हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ ऑल ऑफ अस नो फोर बेसिक टाइप ऑफ अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन लाइक एडिशन सब्सट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन ऑन टू और मोर नंबर्स वी कैन परफॉर्म दीज बेसिक ऑपरेशन विद बाइनरी नंबर्स एज वेल सो टूडे वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट बाइनरी अरिथमेटिक दैट इज बाइनरी एडिशन बाइनरी सब्सट्रैक्शन बाइनरी मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड बाइनरी डिविजन फर्स्ट इज बाइनरी एडिशन Now binary addition is performed in the same manner as decimal addition. Binary number system has two digits, zero and one, and the addition table of binary arithmetic is very simple. See the addition rules. When zero is added to zero, we get zero. Zero added to one, we get one. One added to zero, we get one. And when one is added to another one, we get zero as the sum, and one is taken as carry to the left hand side. Similarly, when three ones are added, we get one as the sum, and one is taken as carry to the left hand side of digit. For example, if we have to add one zero zero one to one zero one, starting from the right, one plus one is zero and one carry. Now this one is added to zero, we get one. One added to zero, we get one. So the final output is one. Zero plus one is one, and one is written here. So this is the sum. Another example. One one zero zero one zero added to one zero one one zero one one zero plus one is one one plus one is zero carry one one added to zeros is one zero plus one is one one plus one is zero and one is carry now this one is added to this one you get zero and one is carry so this is the answer next operation is of binary subtraction now these are the rules for subtraction zero minus zero is zero. One minus zero is one. One minus zero is zero. But when one is subtracted from zero, zero is a smaller number, so we have to take one. We have to borrow one from the left digit, left side column. That is what it is written. So it will become one zero minus one, which is equal to one, by borrowing one from the next left column. Take this example. You will understand it better. Subtract this number from this number. So this number is to be written here. One zero zero one zero one. Minus one zero zero one zero like this. Here one minus zero is one. Zero minus one it is not possible. So you have to take one from as borrow from this column. So it becomes one zero and this will become zero when one is subtracted from it. One zero minus one is one. Now zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Again zero minus one not possible. So one has to be borrowed from here. This becomes zero and this becomes one zero. One zero minus one is. One and zero is written here, so the answer is one zero zero one one base two. This is the difference. Take another example. Subtract this number from this number. This number is written on the top and this at the bottom. So zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. Zero minus one not possible. So it ha one has to be borrowed from here. It cannot be borrowed because it is again zero. It cannot be borrowed from here. It cannot be borrowed from here. So it has to be borrowed from here. So this will become zero. And one will be borrowed first here. Okay, it becomes one zero. Then it will be borrowed here. It will be borrowed here. It will be borrowed here like this. So one zero minus one is one. One minus zero is one. One minus zero is one. One zero minus one is zero. Okay, this is how it is done. So one 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 zero zero base two. This is how subtraction is done. Next comes binary multiplication. Zero into zero equals to zero. Zero into one equals to zero. One into zero equals to zero, and one into one is zero. It is similar to decimal multiplication. So take this example: one zero one zero multiplied by one zero one. Simply multiply. First multiply the whole upper number with one. You get this. Then put a cross here. Multiply by zero. You get four zeros. Again put two crosses. You get this. Then you add them, and you get this answer. If there are If there is a decimal point, then simply multiply one zero one with one one first. You get this. Now there are uh, three values after the decimal point here and two values here, two numbers here. That means five digits. So total should be five digits. One, two, three, four. You are already getting. You have to put one zero here, then put a dot over here. This is how binary multiplication is done. Next is binary division. So the rules for binary division are written over here. Zero when divided by zero we get zero. Zero divided by one we get zero. 
1 cannot be divided by 0 but if it is written it means infinite it is similar to decimal division we, we will never write 1 divided by 0 so 1 divided by 1 is 1 now divide this number by 101 since there are 3 digits we will take 3 digits together 1 times 101 now write 1 digit from the top here 1 is written over here it cannot be divided so you write 0 here another digit is to be copied it is cannot be divided so you write another 0 here another digit is copied 101 so it is 1 times 101 1 is copied over here it cannot be divided so 0 is the quotient 0 is written in the quotient so the answer is quotient is this and remainder is this similarly here when this number is divided by 100 you have to take 3 digits first because there were 3 digits in the divisor 1 times 100 1 is copied over here 1 is the difference 101 minus 100 is 1 so 0 is copied over here 10 cannot be divided by 100 so you write 0 here 0 is copied over here 1 times 100 0 then 1 is copied over here it cannot be divided so 0 here again 1 is copied 0 here it cannot be divided now a decimal point is written here and the next digit is copied here 111 so 1 times 100 0. subtract them you get 11 0 is copied over here 1 times again 100 10 is the subtraction then 1 is copied over here you get 100 1 and 0 is copied over here it cannot be divided so 0 so the quotient is this and the remainder is this next comes octal addition now an octal number is added to another octal number in the same way as we add two decimal numbers to, to perform octal addition the following steps are to be followed add the corresponding digits of both the numbers from right to left second step if the sum of the digits is less than 8 then write the same value but if the sum of the digits is more than or equal to 8 then write the value sum minus 8 and then the carry over 1 to the left hand side of column fourth step add the next higher significant digits plus the carry fifth step repeat the process from step 2 step 2 till step 5 all is to be repeated till all the digits of the numbers are added completely we will understand this using an example now add this octal number 1 2 3 4 with another octal number 2 1 4 1 it is written one beneath the other starting from the right 4 plus 1 is 5 it is less than 8 so it will be written as it is 3 plus 4 is 7 it will be written as it is 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1 and 2 is 3 this is very simple there is no carry nothing now this is another example of octal addition 6547 is added to 5436 now the step in step 1 I have added 7 and 6 when 7 and 6 is added we get 13 which is more than 8 so we have to subtract 8 from it we get the answer 5 that means sum will be 5 and carryover will be 1 which will be written on top of the next significant digit now we have to in step 2 we have to add 1 plus 4 plus 3 we get 8 which is equal to 8 so again we have to subtract 8 see 8 has to be subtracted whenever we get 8 or more than 8 as the sum so we get 8 we have to subtract 8 again we will get 0 so sum will be 0 and carry over will be 1 so 0 is written over here and 1 will be written over here now add 1 plus 5 plus 4 you get 10 again subtract 8 from it you get 2 as the sum and 1 as the carry now add 1 plus 6 plus 5 you get 12 as the sum again subtract 8 from it you get 4 here and 1 will be carry which will be written over here so the final sum of these two octal numbers will be 14205 I hope this is clear to all of you next we come to octal subtraction when a 1 is borrowed from the left digit in octal subtraction then 8 is added usually what happened in decimal addition when 1 was borrowed from the left hand side to the right hand side then 10 was added to this and it became 17 10 plus 7 is 17 but now in octal subtraction when 1 is borrowed from the left hand side to the right hand side then 8 will be added to this number and then it will be subtracted by the lower digit understood now let us take some examples here 1 2 3 4 we have to subtract from this 4 5 6 7 minus 1 2 3 4 this is simple without any borrow 7 minus 4 is 3 6 minus 3 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 4 minus 1 is 3 again now take this example 
subtract 2477 base 8 from 6567 base 8. Write this 6567 on top, 2477 at the bottom. Subtract them now. First step is 7 minus 7 which is 0. It is written as it is. Now 6 minus 7. 6 is a smaller number. So what do we have to do? 1 is to be borrowed from the left side. So this will become 5 minus 4, 5 minus 1 that is 4. And here 6 will be added with not 10 but it will be added with 8. 1 is borrowed from 5 so it becomes 4 and 8 is added to 6 so it becomes 14. So 14 minus 7 is 7 which is less than 8 so it will be written as it is. Now next step is 4 minus 4 which is 0, 6 minus 2 which is 4. So this is the final difference when we subtract two octal numbers. I hope this is clear to all of you. You can have a look again. I will wait for two minutes. Next is hexadecimal addition. Add this number with this number. Both are hexadecimal numbers. 1, B, 2, C, A, B, 4, 5. Now when C is added to 5, this is step 1. C means 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. Now hexadecimal numbers are 16 numbers. So we have to subtract 16 here. In octal addition, we used to subtract 8. Here we will be subtracting 16. So 1 will be the sum and carry will be. If the sum is greater than 16 or equal to 16, then it is to be subtracted by 16. And we get the sum here and 1 carry over. So 1 will come over here, 1 will come over here. Now next step will be 1 plus 2 plus 4 which comes to 7. So it is written as it is. Next is B plus B which is 11 plus 11 which is 22. So again 16 is to be subtracted. Sum will come as 6 and carry will be 1. So 6 is written over here and 1 will be written over here. And the fourth step will be 1 plus 1 plus A. That is 1 plus 1 plus 10 which is 12. 12 equals to C. So you write C here over here. I hope this is clear to all of you. Finally, we come to the last topic of the chapter that is hexadecimal subtraction. Suppose you have to subtract this hexadecimal number from this. So this is written on top and this is at, written at the bottom. Subtract 7 minus 4 which is equal to 3. It is written as it is. E minus B means 14 minus 11 that is 3. It is written 8 minus 6 is 2. Simple. D minus A means 13 minus 10 which is 3. So the final difference is this. Another example I have taken here, this is to be subtracted from this. Here you will be using borrowing also. C 5 D 2 C upon uh, sorry minus 9 B 4 F. So 2 may say F nahi ho sakta hai. Kya karenge? 1 idhar se borrow karenge. Jab idhar se borrow karenge to 16 add karenge isme. Hexadecimal subtraction ho raha hai isle 16. Jab decimal subtraction hota tha we used to add 10. Jab octal subtraction hota tha then we used to add 8. This is hexadecimal subtraction, so we will add 16 to 2. So, kya ho jayega? 16 to 2 may add karke kya banega? 18. 18 minus f means what? 18 minus 15, which is equal to 3. So, this becomes 3. Ab isme se 1 chala gaya hai. So, d mein se jab 1 minus karenge, to c ban jayega ho. Ab next step is c minus 4. c means 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. So, here we have to write 8. Okay. Now, 5 is smaller than b. Again, c mein se idhar a borrow karenge. Ye to ban jayega b. And 5 may add karenge? 5 may add karenge? 16 again. So it becomes 21. 21 minus B is 21 minus 11 which is equal to 10 which is equal to A. So here you have to write A. Now B minus 9. B means 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. So the final answer is this. A little tricky but if you practice you will be able to do them very easily. I hope you have understood all the conversions as well as the arithmetic of binary numbers, octal numbers and hexadecimal numbers. We will not be doing hexadecimal and octal multiplication and division. We will only do addition and subtraction which is in your book. Thank you class.